in early hours of September 27. 1983. Prime Minister Bob Hawke stunned with joy achieving a win for the Australian Two American Cup. Now he said his famous line any boss who sailed everyone today. Almost well remembered. Mr. Hawke's jacket wore at Royal Perth Yacht Club at the time. A white blazer adorned with a flag in form of Australia in blue letters and Australia. However, rather than aiming to celebrate victory Australian victory in world stage. Jacket was designed by 23-year-old architectural student to have fun in what he saw as extreme demonstrations of nationalism and for a long time he got rid long stress. I used to dress a lot and dressed quite shamelessly. Back Burnham said at ABC Radio Perth to Nadia Mitsopoulos. At that time I gathered loud jackets and asked for the highest and most unpleasant jacket I could always find. He continued there is also another layer. At that time decided that he wanted a jacket to mockery with the nationalist S saw and started to hunt suitable fabric in the pre-internet days. I wanted to exhibit such a self-value. And especially when it requires a nationalist flavor. Burnham said. In the last year of the architecture, I went to Perth to search for inappropriate Australian patterns. A high and unpleasant kind of Australiana pattern. One thing to wear he found the desired pattern on tea towel. Approached the Paré Matbar company responsible. And had enough fabric to build a jacket made by Taylor in Malaysia. A friend then invited him to an event at Royal Perth Yacht Club to watch the last races of American Cup. Obviously, there's only one thing to wear. Burnham said Burnham. He remembered as a wild celebration time. He said that Australia was behind the race and that his mood suppressed. Many people left early, sleeping in the last moments. But Mr. Burnham continued. At some point of night, an official from the Royal Perth Yacht Club asked him to change jackets. I went to side door of the media room and changed jackets with some picture. Said. For most of the night, I was actually wearing a Royal Perth Yacht Club blazer. Prime Minister came they then came back. But then Australian two passed line in seventh race to attract victory. And Prime Minister came. Burnham. Everyone knew that Bob Hawke was in the town. And there was an expectation that it would emerge. Said. There was a great love around him. And I took my distance to him because I knew where they were going. They were going to the media room. When he was there before. He used the side door to gain access. That's why I was in the media room. I was 23 years old and I wore a stupid jacket. He had just won the Australian American Cup and Bob Hawke was five or six metres away. For many Australians, victory represented the moment when the nation was ageing. Mr Burnham locked his eyes with the club official and delivered his jacket once again in the midst of lights and noise. He went to someone else. And then Bob went to Hawker.